Welcome to our lecture online. Essentially, there's nothing like some good examples, and so let's draw a few circles using these equations as examples. You can tell that the one on the right side represents a circle with the center at the origin. The one on the left side represents a circle where the center is not at the origin. How can you tell? Well, there's no h and k, or an h and k in this case will be equal to zero. But it's always a good idea to rewrite this into the format, in other words, the radius square on the right side. So we should probably rewrite this as x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared, because now you can clearly see that the radius in this case is equal to 5. And over here we can write this equation as x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 3 squared. And again, you can clearly see that the radius there is equal to 3. So the way to do that is to first find the center, and in this case the center is at the origin, and then you know that you can go into the direction of the y-axis or the negative y-axis, the x-axis and the negative x-axis, and find the point away from the origin that's equal to 5. Of course, I've already done that in, in anticipation, so here's the point 5, 0, here's the point 0, 5, here's the point 0, negative 5, and the point negative 5, 0. And then if you draw a circle connecting all those dots, which of course not as easy to do, because it's difficult to draw circles, but if you try to go through the dots like that, there it is, there's your circle with the center at the origin and the radius equal to 5, so that means that the distance from the center to any point on the circle will be equal to to 5. Here we do the same thing except the center is not at the origin, the center is at h and k, and of course h and k in this case are 3 and 2. So when you see the negative sign that's part of the equation, the value for h and k are indeed positive. So h is 3 and k is equal to 2, so where those two come together, that will be the center of the circle. Now what you need to do is the same thing we did over there, but starting from the center, we need to go plus 3 and minus 3 in the x direction, plus 3 and minus 3 in the y direction. So let me use a different color. So first of all, we go 1, 2, 3. Then we go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Here we go 1, 2, 3. And negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 right there. So we end up with four dots. Each of those dots is three units away because that's the radius of the circle, three units away from the center in the positive and negative y direction, positive and negative x direction. And then all you have to do is connect those with a circle. And there you go. There's your circle that's representative of the equation x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared equals 9 or equals 3 squared. And that is how it's done. Pretty good circles, huh? <laughs> if I can say so yourself. <laughs> All right. Okay, on to the next one.